Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. I have <laughs> managed to move um, and so this cycle was in the new place um, during December. Um, I've also changed work um, so I am very late to this video um, as my cycle went from Wednesday 8th of December to Sunday 12th of December. But as we all know, December can be quite a uh, exceptionally busy time. So um, I've got this 10-inch gingerbread by Handmade by Hetty. It is cotton knit topped, absorb and flannel cord and fleece on the back. Um, then um, I wore it with this um, Anko uh, period underwear. Um, I'll be doing... A review of these I imagine somewhere in January or February um, for those of you um, who want it. Um, I nearly always wear period underwear um, uh, and a pad as well because I am quite heavy. Um, I then wore this 10 inch Rudolph by Hen made by Hedy. Um, it's got knit topped absorb and flannel core and fleece on the back. And then this 10 inch Disney key by Daisy and Bird. It is cotton knit topped, bamboo core and wind pro backed. Um, then we've got this 10 inch Adventure Time by Keller Bear Creates. There's cotton topped, cotton funnel, bamboo French cherry and pure core with micro fleece on the back. Um, then I wore um, this fig by Moddy Body. That's uh, Polly Me. No, this one <laughs> is bamboo and spandex with smart radio and polyester core. Um, then I wore the Yuki cup. So this is the cup that I wear on my second day. Um, we all know this is one of my favourite cups, especially for my heavy day. Okay, um, and I wore this Helio by Modi Body. This is Polymede Smart Merino and Polyester Core. And that was obviously what I wore uh, most of the day. Um, this is the 11 inch Hocus Pocus uh, by Orange Tulip Knits. It is cotton lycra topped, super heavy bamboo fleece core and wind pro on the back. Then this 12 inch booby bear by Venus Pads. It is crushed velvet top, flannel core and fleece on the back. Um, again, another one of these Anko ones. Um, these Anko ones are cotton with padding and waterproof gusset and cotton. So they're basically cotton outer and the um, padding and waterproofing is covered in cotton as well for the gusset. Um, then we wore this uh, jade by Moni Body. This is the bamboo and spandex with smart linen and polyester core. Then we have the Lali cup. As you know, this is my favorite second day cup. It is also a very good cup to get in and out. Um, I've got reviews of both of these cups up in the. I've got a playlist for menstrual cup reviews. And then we've got this Midnight by Moddy Body. This is the Polymede with the Smart Merino and Polyester Core. And then we have another um and then oh, and then we have this one which is the bamboo spandex and body body with the smart mineral and polyester core they do have a vegan range um because obviously obviously smart merino is contains wool from sheep because merino is a type of sheep um and this is an 11 inch stitch lilo and stitch by handmade by hetty is cotton knit topped dissolve and flannel core and fleece backed um, 10 inch witch by flower child collective cotton flannelette um, cotton topped flannelette and bamboo fleece core and micro fleece on the back um, 
by Flower Child Collective. Um, this one here, 10 inch um, Moon and Stars print by Kitty Cat Cloth. Organic bamboo floor topped flannel and cotton fleece core and grid Win Pro on the back. Um, and then um, I wore these Love Lunas and this Anko. So this here is the Anko, this here is the Love Luna. Um, I'll probably cover it in my review of the Anko, but I'm pretty sure these are pretty well much made at the same factory. Um, they are very similar in their make, construction and utilisation. So, um, and both made in Indonesia. So I imagine the slight variations are design variations between Love Luna and Anko. Um, Anko is in Australia. Um, we still have a very strong Kmart brand and we have a very strong Target brand as well. So um, the Kmart in Australia is exceptionally popular um, and it's a, oh, there's, I know there's like Facebook groups, I know Facebook, I know there's Instagram um, and they tend to have kind of exceptionally popular things go through Kmart and Anko is their home brand um, or their company brand I guess you'd say so a lot of the stuff that's in Anko from bedding to clothing to period underwear is actually Anko branded um, but it's just close enough to and so I think it was $13 I think it was $13 so it just makes it exceptionally affordable underwear for people who can't afford um, uh, body body period underwear which can go up to $40 um, this one here is a 9 inch rabbit by Novel Red. It is quilters cotton topped, um, bamboo cotton core, and Win Pro on the back. And last but not least, it is this 10 inch Fire Fire by Love Charlie Designs. It is cotton quilting top and backed with terry toweling and PUL in the core. So that is. Um, I, uh, what I wore this month for December 2021 and uh, so that's 11 pads and two menstrual cups um, and 11 pairs of period underwear so that's uh, it for what I wore this month this year I will try and link um, these down below, these companies down below, so you can check them out for yourself. Um, outside of that, uh, enjoy your morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the day. Um, I hope you had the best Christmas that you could, and I will catch up with you all in the next year. Bye, everybody.